Now we'll take a look at the physical transition of the survival mule from vertical locker mode to horizontal trailer mode. First take a look at how much weight is in the mule for this event. Okay, about 300 pounds, you can see rocks, weights, and uh, some ammunition there in the lower two levels. If you're doing a physical transition of the mule, it's important to have the weight loaded towards the bottom for balance reasons. Now swinging around on its casting wheels, you can see the frame. I'm going to do this transition with one hand behind my back to show the simplicity. First, remove the steel hitch pins, axle assembly. Assume we're going to go on the roads and we need our mud flaps for most states' legal requirements. These fit in aligned by bolts, secured by a magnet, and pins through the bolt shafts on each side. transition and we'll swap that out with the time assembly. Now for the physical transition the mule to place a small piece of wood which is included underneath the rear edge which prevents that lower edge of the mule from slipping out from underneath on those castering wheels. Get that placed, just a little bit of pull to get her down. Easy transition, 300 pounds loaded in a 400 pound or so trailer. So from that halfway point, you can remove the pins, the frame extension, set that aside, and then this is the covering wise with one arm, this can be done. Insert. Coupler, making sure it's aligned for the pins. Pin number one. but for purpose of demonstration we got it. So one arm transition complete. Now let's need to move it out. You can see it's easy to move around and this would be where you place it on your vehicle and you save it. Trailer mode. We're going to keep taking it. <laughs> then we got the uh, lights Internal, the one arm lid lift is a little tougher. So we have the uh, electrical cords for the lights. If you go to your vehicle, stored right there, and the uh, magnetic trailer lights themselves can be quickly mounted on the lid. Because I want to get the uh, transition back to vertical in this as well, 
I want to hook up the lights. Back vertical, remove the axles and the mud flaps, and you're back in storage. 